Hello, 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 everybody. This is Dr. Shaniva Earlier, Craft Doctor, and I'm here today with a video. Um, this is a project that I am making for a nonprofit um, event. And I'm sure you've seen these all around um, the internet, and they're the candy domes. So this is the candy dome, and it, it has several pieces. And I picked this one. So I didn't have to put little pieces like eyeballs and legs and arms and stuff. So I have to cut out red, brown, pink, white, light brown, and black. So I had to cut out each one of those for this project. I'm making 40 of them for the event that I'm having or that I'm a part of. And so I was making them and I made the browns. And so I was doing them first on my Joy Extra because I was just doing them at my my couch. Because y'all you know I'm all um y'all all know I'm recuperating from knee surgery. And it was just like one max. I got 20 done. And I'm like, I'm tired of doing these singly by themselves. It's taking too long. So I said, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and grab my cricket maker so I could put two on them on a mat. And these are just the black. And so I, I did two on a mat and I'm sitting there and I'm like, you have to be able to do these more efficiently um, than two on a mat. So this is the reason why I'm making this video. And because I hear a lot of people saying a, a, the venture is for, it's not for the home crafter, it's not for, um, it's for business people. But if you're doing any kind of production type stuff or production type work, the venture is for you too. And so I want to show you what I did. I'm not going to be able to show you completely because my screen don't go out. My camera is not going to be wide. The field of view is not going to be wide enough, but I'm going to back you up enough that I, as far as I can. This is the mat for the venture, right? This is the mat. This is the gigantic Met. So you can see that. This I don't even know if you can see it all on the screen because now I'm covering up my computer. But this is the big gigantic mat, right? So instead of making two, I can now make eight. Because it's two here, two here, two at the back. That's the same way. So I was able to make eight of these in the span of time that I made two. Because the maker was making them pretty quickly. But that venture, it might be slow compared to the Romeo or the Caesar Juliet, but it still got some speed on it when you need to do some quick stuff. The mat though is huge. The mat is huge. So it does have that one thing. Like if you can tell this, the mat is taking up my whole desk area. It's taking up my whole desk area. But instead of doing four or two, I was able to do eight. So I knocked out these um, eight, these 40 that I had to do in no time. It was literally like, it took me longer to clean the mat than it did to cut these. Because of course, my first mat, I use a standard grip. This mat, I'm using the light grip because this is some recollections paper, 60 pounds and it's thin but look at that compared to, to making them i bent this mat so this i bent it and so it came up quickly this this one came out easy because this is good paper so that's some good paper that's not recollections but the recollections paper you see i have to really peel this off so it also depends on the paper you're using if you're using thinner paper, it's going to take a little bit harder to get these off. Them two popped out, but I had to. I have to roll this mat, and that's the key. Roll your mat so you'll be able to get your um, piece off easier without tearing it. And so all I did was I took these pieces and I flipped them to get two on them, two on a twelve by twelve sheet, and I took the twelve by twelve sheet. Mm -mm, my mic is getting in the way. My 12 by 12 sheet. And I put one here, one here, one there, one there. And there you go. And so if you have those bigger projects, this thing is expensive. I'm not going to lie. 
I got it on um, Cricut. Um, I got it from Cricut. Um, the one thing that I did do, I got a discount. I think, did I get the discount? I don't even know if I did, but I got, I'm, I'm a Cricut, I'm a Cricut Access member, so I got that discount. But even if you're not a Cricut Access member and you're a veteran, get your veterans discount because Cricut do have veterans discount every time you order something. And it's the same discount as if you were an Access member. So you're not going to be missing out because you're not an Access member. But if you are a veteran, grab that veterans discount so then you will be able to get that deal for this, um, whatever you buy from Cricut. Sometimes if they're having a sale though, you can't stack the discounts. So you'll, you know, you'll get one or the other, but whenever you go to Cricut and buy something from Cricut, use those discount codes and get, get those deals, um, from them. And so I don't have a bigger scraper because if I had the bigger scraper, I could scrape this right off with no problem. It'll, you know, that big, big one. And I kept saying to myself, every time I go to Michael, well, I haven't been to Michael's in a long time, but when I went to Michael's the last time, I was like, I don't need that big scraper for nothing. I don't do nothing that big. But you know, that was long before I bought this big venture. I mean, yeah, before I bought the venture. Oops. <laughs> this mat is sticking to my sore knee and it's hurting. <laughs> hurting me. But so all you got to do, take your mat. Don't let this big mat scare you because people are like, oh, that mat is so huge. Take it in sections just like I'm doing. You see how I'm taking in sections and getting this stuff off? Take it in sections. I laid this baby down on the floor because my upstairs craft space, I got my venture where my, my workspace is right now because I need to move around stuff. I just dropped that thing on the floor. Y'all know it's hard for me to get up in the bed. It's me. But I put it on the floor and I put this paper on each corner and I got it on there. In four in the four corners, or you know what you can do if you're doing big projects that like this, go to the dollar store and buy poster board. Poster board is well by twenty eight, which is the size of this mat. Now, if you don't have to do anything this big, get the twelve by twenty four. It's half this size, and I think when I um I ordered them from a bundle from HSN, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I did. So you can get the one that's half of this size and then you still can do four instead of eight of whatever you're doing, but it'll get you done quicker. So if you're doing stuff for your your family, friends, kids, uh, you know, your people be like, hey, make me something and you need 10 of them. This will get you done with it much quicker because I have to make 40 of each color. I did the red on my, ooh, sorry, I did the red already. I need a way to put this mic up higher so it's not in my way on a desk. I did the 40 in red. I'm done with the brown. I don't have any pink paper, so I have to make a run to Michael's um, and get some pink paper on Monday because I can't do it tomorrow because I have class all day tomorrow. I'm doing a bling uh, education thing, even though I know how to bling already, uh, doing, um, but it never hurts to do some education to get you a little bit extra because we're having a special event. It's called Bling Your Bag, and we're going to be blinging tote bags, right? And we're going to, I created all of these. I didn't create the pattern. I created the template. I cut out the templates. I did cut, create one pattern, though. I can't wait to sh people to see it. But I, I created the, I cut out the templates and people will get a chance to pick the template that they want to bling on their bag. And then we'll have a discussion about um, things you put in your bag. And if you are a blinger and you want to bling out some stuff, we're going to talk about how you can get resources, where you go to get your stuff, how much it costs, you know, that type of stuff. Because unfortunately, we find that a lot of people don't want to tell you where they get their stuff from and so we're having this event called bling your bag and it is to, to help for our um diaper bank our local diaper bank to you know we have a diaper bank to pass our diapers to people in uh in need of diapers 
And so we're going to do that. And we're going to have this event. And we're having a special guest, um, one of our um, wonderful influencers who is in our local area. I haven't gotten the flyers created yet, so I don't want to say who that influencer is, but we're going to have her, and she's coming to our event so we can talk to people and let people know uh, about how to do rhinestones, um, blings, and stuff like that. And we're going to give out the resources on how to connect with them. We're not going to be like, oh, no, I'm not, I'm not going to tell you where I got my supplies from because that's the thing. People need to know if push comes to shove and you need a quick uh, whatever, however it is, you need some quick money fast in a hurry and you have a cricket, a Romeo or whatever you have and you need to make some money right quick and the school needs some T-shirts or tote bags or hats or whatever, this will be the opportunity where you can get the deposit, buy the supplies, and be able to do something quick for them. And I often get, well, aren't you scared they're going to take your customers? For real, for real, there is millions of people in the United States, overseas, wherever, in alive. If if somebody is going to take your customer, they was not your customer at all. They, they were not the person that you are seeking. If somebody be like, oh my God, I love your product, but it's too expensive. They're not your customer because they're not going to buy it. Thus, make it not your customer. If it's somebody who says, oh, my God, your stuff is so cute, and then they start copying you, then that person was never your customer at all. They were somebody who was looking for a way to edge in on what you're doing. But that is not going to stop you from being able to get your customer base up. So please don't be afraid. If that was true, it would not be a McDonald's on every corner. If that was true, you would not see... Um, Sam's Club, Costco, B and H, whatever. There's always room for more people to be in this game, so don't be afraid of it. And you know, talk to people who know how to do these things and that's willing to help you. There's going to be somebody who is going to be no, I don't want them to know about where I get my stuff. But there's going to be people like me who is willing to talk to you and tell you about how to get this done. Now, this is a local event. I'm not sure yet how I could even tape it so that we can show unless I just tape how to create a template which I can I can tape the um I take I could tape like a step by step so if you want a step by step I can do that and I can tell you in the video where did I get my stuff from who did I buy it from we got so many people who, who you can buy your things from and I would prefer to tell you where to get it from than you go and try to figure out all these places and never find what you're looking for so if you like this idea this came from i want to say it came from creative fabrica i'm not really sure i i just know i looked online and i seen this cute bear and i bought it it might have even been from an etsy seller or something but this they have plenty of them go online and look for this bear but they have the, they have them on cricket which it may have i don't know where you i'm not gonna lie i don't know where i got this design from but they got them everywhere, all kinds. Just go on and look at candy domes. These domes are that are the domes from half an ornament, a half ornament. So I bought 40 of them from Amazon for like $7 or $5 or I don't really know. You may be able to find them um, somewhere. Matter of fact, let me, can I, let me go here. I'm, I'm getting ready to see how much they cost on Amazon. Let me. Let me see, because that's the key, Amazon. You need to know where to get these things from. Um, orders. You can't see my thing yet because I'm trying. I don't want y'all to see all of my information. Here they go. This is 28, 80, 80 millimeter, 11. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to bring you on my screen. You'll be able to see my screen now. There. So, they are, um, see, y'all can't even see half of this. Hmm. But they're, they're these Christmas balls. That's what they are. They're these balls. And they're ornaments DIY. Maybe, let me see if I can make my screen smaller. There we go. Make my screen smaller so y'all be able to see it. So, they, I got them for $11.99 and I got 20 of them. 
maybe at a find them cheaper. I know during the holidays they're probably cheaper, and so I got them for eleven ninety nine. And you may be able to even find them um, cheaper than this. I was I just needed them right away so I could show somebody the sample. And this is what I got. So see, this one, Valentine's Day clear ornaments, but I'm not sure how big that is. Let's look and see. 20-pack Valentine's Day clear ornament. Transparent, $6.88. So there we go. We found them for $6.88 for 20 and so that is enough to do 40 because it's a 20 pack because the ornament is one side see it's it's here let me i have to move my screen uh oh what did i just do i have to move the screen so y'all can see it Lord. how come y'all can't see that there we go that's what it looked like so you get 20 pieces you get 20 pieces, which is one ball. So you can do 40 every time. And that is $6.99. That's how you much you can pay for them for 20 pieces. So, okay, let me take this off. Bring y'all back here. All right. Okay. So I, I would say if you wanted to do a project like this for, well, Valentine's Day is in two weeks-ish or um, I'm going to do one that looks like a shamrock because our school is shamrocks and I'm going to pass them out to, um, administration if I have time enough to do it because our thing is shamrock. But all you really have to do if you want to do something like this, what is this? All you have to do is get a something, whatever it is like this. You can't, it's black. There we go. It's black. So it's a bare face, right? This is, cause y'all know I don't care. I like to share almost eight inches long by six right all you have to do is get a circle and cut it out let's see how wide this circle is it is look like it's three and a quarter so get go into cricket find you anything whatever you like to to make at least have two layers you got to have more than one layer because the first layer is this you got to have this piece, but you can find so many things and piece it together and make it work. Whatever design you want, cut that circle out, bring in a document that has this part or make your own and hot glue it. I hot glued it. So what I'm going to do, this video is just talking about them. Once I get all the pieces made cut out this week, I'm going to do a video putting this together so you can see it. I just wanted to see y'all to see what I was doing and how to use the venture cutting mats and how a regular crafter who does mass production for things can use the venture. That was my purpose of this video. So I will be doing more videos. I actually had another video to upload, but it was wonky, so I deleted it. But it's, it's some of the templates that I'm doing for... Um, rhinestones so i just wanted to come in and say hello thank y'all for rocking with me in this this uh lull i'm in but i'm going to be back i'm not probably going to make but one video a week right now until i get back on my um grind and and feel better but so then after that i'll probably be making more videos um a week like i used to but it's just really good to come on and show you something to do something that you can do quickly if you only need five of them, you could put two on a page per color, buy your things, and then you got them. And there you go. Six and eight, eight, which is the major part. And we all got so much paper, it's ridiculous. And so use your papers. Make them in color. You know, instead of making a plain heart, use some glitter and make this all glittery and stuff like that. And it'll be beautiful because you did it. All right. Thank you so much for joining me. And I will see y'all all in the next one.